Born and raised in Chicago, Illinois, Ted Kaczynski was raised as a child genius, excelling academically at a young age. Kaczynski was accepted into Harvard at the age of 16, where he earned his BA, later a doctorate in mathematics from the University of Michigan, and became an assistant professor at the University of California, Berkeley in 1967 at the age of 25. But quit two years later. In 1971, he moved to a log cabin in a remote area of Lincoln, Montana, and lived a secluded life without electricity or running water. Learning survival skills in an effort to become self-sufficient. Between 1978 and 1995 Kaczynski sent 16 bombs on several targets, including universities and airlines, killing three people and wounding 23 others. On April 24, 1995, Kaczynski sent the New York Times a letter promising to end his terror if the newspaper or the Washington Post ran a 35,000-word statement he had prepared under the title Industrial Society and its Future, or he would continue to kill him if the manifesto was not published within 90 days. In this statement, which has already been published, what he adopted in his bombings was an extreme method. But it is necessary to draw people's attention to the erosion of human liberties due to modern technologies, which require broad regulatory frameworks. Ted Kaczynski becomes the FBI's most wanted man when his criminal actions, provocative and sarcastic messages, and anti-tech memoirs make him America's most wanted man. Before his identity became known, the FBI used the term, UNABOM, to refer to his case, which led to the media's use of the term, Unabomber, in news releases. Six years passed without new bombings and no new evidence in the case, which led the FBI to believe the investigations would come to nothing. And they wondered if he had fallen victim to one of his homemade bombs. The FBI formed a task force to coordinate a large-scale manhunt to search for him, which began by developing a better picture of the graphic illustration of the suspect in the case and hypothesizing whether he was a mechanical person, a university or a person who excelled in education. After the publication of the manifesto, Manifesto, the FBI hoped federal for someone to recognize the character of the writer of the statement. In the summer of 1995, Ted's brother-in-law, Linda Patrick, followed the story of the Unabomber when she was on vacation in Paris with her husband, David Kaczynski, and told him that the details of the case reminded her of his brother Ted Kaczynski. At first, David did not take Linda's conclusions seriously. But when he returned to the United States read the Manifesto Industrial Society and its future calling for a revolution to destroy the industrial system worldwide. Suddenly in October 1995 a seed of doubt grew strong in David's mind, though he was not sure that Ted was the operative, trying to mend the rift in their family relationship. The technology was written by Ted and compared it to his manifesto to find the quotes and the great similarity between them. His inability to underestimate the similarity between them invited him to contact attorney Anthony Besglove. David faced a difficult choice, either to tell what he believed or to remain silent. David made the most difficult decision in his life, where he allowed his lawyer to hand over his brother's name and article to the FBI to gain everyone's attention and intensify investigations about him in particular and become the first suspect in the case. On April 3, 1996, FBI agents, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms, and the Postal Inspection Service issued an arrest warrant a search of Dr. Theodore John. Ted. Kaczynski, near Lincoln, Montana. 